In this short video, we will look at the parts of a barge balloons, how it works in basic step-by-step -step format against the German Stuka dive bombers. So don't skip a beat and let's get straight to it. This is the Stuka. One of the most technological innovations of the Germans, in spite of being under sanction with the famous Treaty of Versailles. Interestingly, this bad boy met a very humble adversary, a weather balloon. Yes, that's right a balloon versus a German Stuka. But not just some ordinary balloon, but a barrage of balloons that are laden with explosives. What is a Stuka? This is a low-wing single-engine monoplane. It was designed to dive in on the target at a steep angle and release the bombs at low altitudes for maximum accuracy before pulling up. During the Battle of Britain, the Stuka would be fitted with a screaming siren. Interestingly, this was intentionally done to create a psychological impact on the battlefield. To counter these, the British military designed a low-budget solution to tackle the Stuka dive bombers. To proceed further, we have to know the anti-aircraft gun's effective range is around 23,000 feet. The Stuka dive bombers would fly very low to strike the Allied targets in order to avoid the anti-aircraft guns. This forces the bombers and fighters to fly at an effective range or higher altitude of these guns, making them very vulnerable. Before we dive into how this works, we have to look at the parts of this weaponized balloon. The barrage balloons are filled with helium gas and joined by high-strength cables. This is attached with a bomb linked to a small parachute. All these systems are attached to a winch tightly screwed to the ground. Let's see how this works. Step number one. The plane strikes the high-strength cable. Step number two. The bottom link cuts the cable and releases the parachute. Step number three. The bomb is then dragged onto the plane and detonates. This simple yet effective method in 1940 was responsible for 102 aircraft crashes in the cables, resulting in 66 crashed or forced landings. Interestingly, this barrage balloon is also being suggested for the war in Ukraine to counter many of the low-flying kamikaze drones. This is a short video, but more longer format coming next week. So do subscribe to help us produce better content.